Saka Fats YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make some baked chicken using some everyday ingredients. So I was making dinner for my family and even though I didn't plan on filming, I thought why not share this quick uh, recipe for my baked chicken. This is my go-to recipe when I don't want to do too much. So over here I've got four chicken legs. I start by adding a little bit of oil on it and then I go in with a little bit of garlic powder. I go in with some thyme. I also like to add in a little onion salt and then I add some all-purpose seasoning and paprika. Now this is literally all you need. If you want you can add some freshly blended seasonings if you want to but hey i wanted to keep this nice and simple just to show you that sometimes simple is best once i've gone ahead and added all my seasonings i'm gonna give it a really good mix let it rest for about 10 minutes or so and then i'm gonna be baking this for about 45 minutes to an hour on 200 degrees celsius Also drizzled a little oil on the top just to start the cook process and then once it's been in the oven for about 30 minutes this is how it looks as you can see we got some juices at the bottom so I'm using my turkey baster and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour these juices back on the chicken legs as this will keep it from drying out and keep it nice and juicy then I'm gonna pop it back in for another 15-20 minutes just so it can take some color and this is literally it Once it's all cooked, it should look something like this. I went ahead and I garnished with some fresh parsley. Now I will be serving these with some jollof rice, some of my yummy steamed vegetables, and this is literally it. So I really hope you enjoy the recipe. I have the recipe for my jollof rice already on my channel and also for the steamed vegetables. And yes, darlings, it's literally a quick dinner on a Monday night. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.